Good morning, everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. And I know I say that, <clears throat> you know, every video. I'm sorry, things have just been pretty hectic lately. Um, but I was thinking about, for some reason, I was thinking about high school and what high school was like for me. Um, <clears throat> and you know, one thing adults used to always tell me was that high school was going to be the place where I found myself. You know, I'd figure out um, what I want to do with the rest of my life and, um, you know, where I would grow as a person. They had a kitty in. Hi! Um, and maybe some people do. I didn't. I don't think I, I'm 25 and I don't think I know, like, who I am yet. Um, you know, I thought that I had some idea about, you know, what I wanted to do with my life. I joined the military and that kind of, you know, fell through. Um, what's the matter? What's the fuss for? Then come sit over here. You can be part of the video too, but you gotta sit next to me. Sorry, we don't have a nurse today, so. Gideon's stuck with me today. No, we're not turning on the piano right now. It's too early in the morning for that. Um, and you know, it wasn't until I had kids, what, like, when I had, when I found out I was pregnant with Gideon, like, I felt a sense of, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is my job. I'm supposed to be a mom. Except, I think that sometimes parents forget that they are more than just a parent. Um, you know... When you have kids, um, kids either make you or break you as a person. Like, you either become even more immature or you grow up quickly um, when you have kids at a young age. Um, like, for me, I was 21 when I had Gideon. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world, but I do understand why some people thought that I was too young to have kids um but having a kid you know gave me a sense of purpose and help help me grow up because I was a bit immature for a 21 year old I mean granted what 21 year old isn't but um I mean, I didn't go out and party or anything like that. Um, for the most part, I was pretty, like, responsible. Um, but when you have kids, you have to start, you know, thinking about someone other than yourself. And, or even start thinking about um, someone other than just yourself and the person you're in a relationship with now you have someone who depends on you solely for everything um and you know that can be hard on some people um but me being the type of person i am i you know fell into that role pretty quickly um but as far as who I am as Katie Whitehead, now that I'm married, like, I don't, I don't know who that, like, who that is. Like, I have a lot of, you know, parts of me. Like, I'm a mom, um, I'm military, um, I'm a writer, like, I have different things that I do, but who I am as a person, 
And I don't know if that's something you really ever truly find out. Um, because I think who you are as a person changes as you get older and you go through different phases in your life. So if you're in high school or even college and you have no idea who you are, don't think that you're different because of it. Don't think that it's that you're weird for not knowing because honestly most people most people it takes them years to find to figure out who they are as a person. Um, and don't let one thing consume you to the point where that's the only thing you think of when you think of yourself. So for me, it's being a mom, um, especially now that I'm pregnant with Quincy. It's one of those things where, like, I'm a mom. That's who I am. That's all I am, but it's not. Like, I'm more than just my kids. Um, <clears throat> yes, my kids, you know, are a part of me. I mean, I birthed them, but um, I'm more than just my kids even though you know um you know I was talking to one of Gideon's nurses the other day she's the same age as me and you know and her her husband is the same age as Jordan he's 32 and um and she was saying how she doesn't feel like she has anything to show for what she has done in the past 25 years. And I was like, you have a kid. Like, that's a pretty, like, you know, that's a huge thing. I mean, her son is seven. I'm like, you have seven years of, you know, um, proof of what you've done and she's like you really think that's such a big thing I'm like yeah I'm like your kids especially when you have a child who you know acts like you which is Gideon Gideon acts like me all the time especially the older he gets which is kind of scary in some ways but you know um When you have a kid, sorry, I'm eating a pop tart. Um, when you have kids, like that's a physical representation of how strong you are as a person. I mean, when you have a kid, you become a chef. You become a chauffeur, a nurse, a, a therapist, you you become basically everything that that child needs. And, hi. Um, and you know, that's, other people look at that and are like, that's an amazing thing. But most parents don't think of it like that. They're like, well, I had a child, it was, basically wasn't a choice, but the thing is, it can, then come sit up, it can be a choice, you know, some people, you know, know that they aren't ready to be be a parent so they you know either get an abortion or put the baby up for adoption once the baby's born like they chose not to be a parent and you know that even that decision in itself can show how strong you are as a person because you're 
You're taking the responsibility of knowing that you weren't ready to be a parent. Instead of, you know, doing what my birth mom did and keeping all of her kids until the state took them. Because she didn't want to admit that she couldn't do it. Or didn't want to do it. Um, so it's okay if you don't know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Um, I mean, I didn't know. <clears throat> I didn't think about joining the military until my senior year of high school. And even then, it was like two months before graduation. So... You know, you can take your time. You don't have to rush. If you don't know, you do it yourself. You figure it out by yourself. Good job. You can do it. I'm like, if... If, if you don't know what you want to go to college for once you graduate you know take a year off work somewhere before going to school that's okay you don't have to rush into things and i think a lot of people forget that so i know i kind of was ranting i hope this video makes some sense at least and that you Take some encouragement from it. Um, what? Come here. Come say bye. Come here. No, you don't want to be in the video? Actually, while I'm on the video, can you say bye? Say bye. Say it with your mouth. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's you. Here, I'll show you around our apartment. So, that's our little de like patio area. We're trying to grow some flowers. <coughs> Hi. What? This is our, sorry for the mess, living room. We have our dining table which is covered in stuff right now kitchen come on then come with me We're walking down the hall this is Gideon's room he made a huge mess in it this morning he loves trees which is why there's a whole bunch of tree pictures on the wall Laundry. Nope. Daddy's in there. We're not going in Mama's room. Bathroom. Also a complete mess. We have a walk-in closet, which is pretty cool. Also kind of a mess right now. Um, so yeah, it's a nice apartment. Nothing too big, which is perfect for us, at least, right? Whoops. That's why you gotta watch where you're going. You just ran into that. Clumsy. Yeah, he just ran into the ironing board. Um. Go. I don't know what the fuss is for. What is the fuss for? Hmm? You can sit in your rocking chair. Um, yeah. He... What? He's four. So he is very indecisive right now. Gideon, you're not going to Mama's room. No, Daddy's in there. We're not going in there. Maybe later, but we're not going in there right now. 
and they say having teenagers is bad. Then come sit. <clears throat> come sit. Come sit. You're not sitting on my lap. You are way too heavy. You are way too heavy to sit on Mama's lap. So whiny. So whiny. <clears throat> so that's where we moved in. It's cute. Hi. Are you are you done making a fuss? He's saying hi. Um but yeah, so still pregnant. But it'll be any day now. Hopefully not too soon. We have one nurse who came back positive for COVID. We have one nurse whose fam a family member came back positive for COVID, so she is out for the next 14 days. And we have another nurse who is out for the next five because her mom um, came back positive for COVID, even though she's not showing signs of of COVID. So. <laughs> Does Mama look impressed? No. What is the fuss for? You have to sit next to me. I told you this. You are way too big to sit on my lap right now. I know, but I'm sorry. There's not enough room. Um, so, yeah. So, um, our nursing company is trying to find nurses to cover those open shifts but right now we have three nurses out because of covid um it we've had a hundred new cases in the past week which <clears throat> compared to some places that's not a lot but compared to how many cases we've had before that's a lot for one week like we before we before florida opened everything back up again we had like a hundred cases in the span of like three months or something like that. So <clears throat> we are limiting, um, you know, how much we leave the house. We wear masks when we go out. Um, Gideon only goes really for doctor's appointments. Um, I usually only leave unless I have a doctor's appointment or like me to go to the grocery store or something like that um just to limit the the amount of exposure we you know we've been having but it's crazy it's a crazy time right now worst time to uh you know be ready to have a baby um but i hope you guys have a great day getting time to calm down Maybe. And on the floor. Um, <clears throat> and I will try to make more videos. It's going to be a little hectic. Oh, we're also getting a kitten in a couple weeks. Um, a friend of ours. I've had, kit had the kittens for a while. But, um, you know, I was trying to wait until... We settled into the apartment and wait until Quincy's born and get settled with, with him before taking the, ca the cat. It's a black cat. We're naming him Lucy. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a boy. Um, from uh, Disenchantment. It's short for Lucifer, but oh well. Um, no, one has to know, no one else has to know that. Um... It's a black cat. Um, I will see if Jordan can send me the pictures of the kitten and I'll post them on Twitter uh, for those of you who follow me so you can see um, what he looks like. But, but yeah, that's what's been going on in our life right now. Um... <clears throat> Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will talk to you all at a different time. Bye.